Welcome Aries. This is a love reading. You versus them for the sign of Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. There will be an extended reading for this. Uh, this it will be in the description box below. A link. So let's get started and see what we have for our Aries friends. You versus them. Okay. Bottom of the deck energy. Aries. You feel like you should throw caution for the winds and keep yourself single at this time. That's the overall energy. So you're feeling very undecided. Seven of Cups energy. So we have you in the king. Well, there you are, Aries, the Aries queen. We have you standing in your power, happy about your life, feeling good about yourself, feeling empowered. You have the courage and the strength to get what you want in love. Look at that. The Leo King has brought you to the reading. There is someone that you're very attracted to. And what we're seeing here is that you feel as though you want that person to come in your life. Very strong fire energy. The Eight of Cups says that you have in the past walked away from your lover. It shows that, you know, that's probably within a six-week period of time. The best that can be achieved right now in the relationship that you're in is a winning situation. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's a victory. You want to be acknowledged. You want to be recognized. You want someone to see who you really are and see the power and strength you bring to a relationship. The Eight of Coins says that right now you're working on your current relationship. You do care about this person, but you're pretty dissatisfied with the relationship overall. It's very boring to you. We see the energy of the Ace of Cups, new love coming in. So you could have a resurgence with this person, but it looks as though we have a walk away here that is leaving for something more fulfilling, and that is you energetically towards them. The Seven of Coins says that you want to invest in someone or something. The Four of Coins says that you're holding back. This is not an incredibly, I mean, you really love this person, but the energy here is one that shows me that it doesn't, with this card and this card, you're just, you haven't been satisfied, I think, for a long time in this relationship. So it does look as though the two of you are, well, at least you are struggling. You still love this person. You'd like a new beginning with them, but... You know, when we look at that Eight of Cups in the past, it's like you, quote unquote, left the building. So, and you want new love coming in. You want something nicer, and yet it looks like you're holding on to the current person, okay? So that's the energy there that you have. So when I break this down in the extended, I will dive deeply into, I'll put more cards to explain. I'll clarify those in depth. I will go forward, but it looks like you're headed towards new love right now. Okay, so let's see your person that you came to the reading to ask about. We have the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. Taurus King. So let's see what we have here. How are they feeling about you? Well, the Queen. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so, like out there but the queen of wands in the same position this is why i like to do two decks this is so important to do two decks so how are they feeling well they feel as though you're there heavily you are there happily ever after we look at this card it, you know it's typically a family card with children it's typically a marriage card but they they feel or felt as though you were the one for them we have the Queen of Pentacles, so that matches the King of Pentacles as the overlap. You know, their energy for you as they want to nurture the relationship, you know, but look at this. I mean, we're talking about you might be dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn. Okay, so that is a match for the Queen. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles says that they want equal give and take in the relationship. Right now, the Five of Wands says that there's a lot of ego-driven energy in this connection. We have the energy that speaks to the near future. 
Page of Swords, somebody who's pretty snarky, you know, somebody who's really not, you know, they're looking on the internet, they're they're kind of pounding around, looking and kind of spying on you, trying to figure out what you're doing also. So that's the energy that they have. The Magician card, they want to have something very magical with you. The King of Wands, isn't this interesting? Ooh, the King of Wands now has shown up in how they view you and what you want is a King of Wands. And what brought you to the reading is a King of Wands. Now, I'm not saying that you have a King of Wands in your life, but I am saying that you want somebody who's very fiery and they're very aware of that. The Knight of Wands, okay. So they have some energy here that makes them feel as though the this is a flirty energy. This is, you know, in terms of how they feel about you, they question your validity in terms of your desire for them. So when we get the Knight of Wands energy is their hope or their fear. Either they want to be a player or they think you're a player. So there's, you know, it's probably some of both, but the temperance card says that they want to make things work out. So I am going to straighten up the table a bit here. Let's see if we have this. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Um, very interesting reading. Both of you, both of you, are like not totally in this relationship. All right, so although your person looks much more committed than you do, that Eight of Cups with walking away in the past says that you've already broken up with them. That's essentially what it means. Okay, so let's look at the Queen of Wands. What does it mean for you? Nine of Cups. Well, you want to be happy and joyful and you want to have fun and you want somebody who's who has a lot of energy for fun. The Tower moment, though, look at that. You've brought the Tower down. This You have pointed out that this relationship does not qualify for having a good enough foundation. The foundational needs that you have are to be very passionate, very fiery, very much somebody who wants to be seen as the one. And so you have created a situation, you know, you feel as though this foundation of the relationship is not really what you need in a relationship. That tower means that as a clarifier of the Queen of Wands, is it basically your person is not recognizing what you bring to the table. They don't appreciate you who, for who you are. That's really what it means. And you feel like that's a big issue. Okay, so let's see the energy of the Strength card. Five of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, so right now there is a third party situation, somebody that you've spoken about with your person. It looks like this is a very, very difficult situation. It's heartbreak for you. It's heartbreak for you, it's, but it's a third party. So there is somebody, there's just, huh. I mean, the, the Three of Swords is really pretty explanatory. There's three swords in your heart, even though you're strong, even though you're not really showing this person that you want them out of the, your life. I mean, you, you already walked away, at least emotionally. The Five of Swords says that all of the, there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of jealousy. There's been a lot of third party interest, either on your part, because you are pining for somebody or on their part or both. So with that Tower card, I would actually say this relationship is really challenged. I, I don't, I'm not seeing how this could feel happy to you right now. I just don't. Also, I always see the Tower card also as usually a big battle, a fight that, you know, where there's a threat of breakup or to break up a home or, you know, but it looks like you're suffering right now. Why is a Queen King of Wands here for you? Chariot card. So you do want this person. You will make a passionate appeal. Um, to the foundation of the relationship. But why is the Eight of Cups here? I mean, that, like, you left 
throwing caution to the winds. Okay, so the energy as I'm reading this is that a long time ago you decided that you would throw caution to the winds if this relationship does not get better. But I would say, I would say, how can it? How can it get better? That's pretty, that's pretty tough energy. Their energy is actually much more like calm than yours. So interesting. Okay, so the Six of Wands energy is, you feel as though your person holds back on you. And that really hurts. You feel as though they might, might have some player energy. And they might. The Five of Cups says that this person, you just feel so disappointed. That energy, that Five of Cups energy, you feel as though they owe you an apology. You feel as though they don't really recognize you for what you bring to the table. Oh, wow, you feel like they're flirting. This does show a very pure love that you have for them, but you're walking away from it. Or you did already. That's in the recent past. All right. So let's see what we have here for the Eight of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Pentacles here for you? We have the Two of Wands. So it does look like you have a decision to make about work. Eight of Pentacles is usually about work. It's usually about a skill set. It's about the money you make. It's about what you bring to the table. But the Two of Wands in a is a decision that has to be made. And it is about job and money, which is affecting the relationship is how I'm reading this. There's something about that that is affecting your relationship, your sense of stability and happiness also. So it's not just the relationship that is bothering you at this point. What do we have? Well, you're bored out of your mind. Three of Wands, you want some excitement. Tiki torches, starry nights, you want some happiness. You really, really need some adventure. You need a person. I really think, Aries, you might need a fire sign. Um, it, you just have such a strong desire. There's The fire is so strong in your chart. So what's the Ace of Cups? Why is it here for new love? Ah, feeling very detached. That's your person in the relationship. That represents your person. King of Swords, Ten of Swords. That's the end of a relationship. Them going out for new love. Your desire is to be with your soulmate. You'd like for this person to be your soulmate. Is this person really your soulmate? Soulmates are here to teach us a lesson. Most people do not know that. They always call and say, when will I meet my soulmate? And it's like, okay, well, you know, the sex, I think, the lovemaking, the passion, I think, was very good when it was good. It was strong. The attraction for each other was very strong. You have the Courage Heart card here twice. And the, oh, there we go. Okay, so you are passionately very pleased with this person. So that hence the lover's card. And we have replication of cards here again. The fool card. You want a new beginning within this relationship. The four of coins. What are you holding back from, Aries? What's going on with that? Holding back. Two of coins. See, you, the three of swords, the two of coins, you have a desire for someone else. And I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm just, not, I can't sugarcoat this at all, and I don't want to. But this is not a relationship that is satisfying to you, or else you wouldn't be thinking about other people. So that's something that's very important to keep in mind here. So that's what I have for you, for the clarifiers. So let's go ahead and look at the Crow Tarot. For your person, what is going on here with your person? The Empress reversed is how they're seeing the Queen of Wands here. That's a tough one. It really speaks to the fact that the relationship is kind of upside down at right now. Um, what is the Ten of Cups about in this relationship for them? Three of Wands, see, they see you as their future, and you you want them to be more adventurous, and yet this person doesn't seem like they're all that adventurous. You know, you kind of need a really fiery energy. So there's the Three of Wands for you in terms of you bring excitement, 
and they want the excitement that you bring to them. This is part of what has made them love you and what has made them this Ten of Cups. The Three of Wands, they do see you as a ship in the harbor. You know, your ships are in. You feel that your ships are in, but you're bored and you're disconnected. And There's a lot here, Aries, that is, it doesn't seem like it's fulfilling. It seems more like you're selling yourself short a little bit on what you want because Elvis left the building a while ago. Okay. So the Three of Wands is clarifying the Ten of Cups for them. Uh, really speaks to the fact that they still see you in their future, but they don't hold you in the same regard they once did. The Empress reversed is somebody who has a certain level of selfishness or whatever. Now, that doesn't mean it's correct. I just I don't think it is, but let's but it is what it means. The Knight of Cups reversed, okay. So the Knight of Cups reversed with the Queen of Pentacles clarifying it says that they're not making an offer of love. They're, they want the stability, but it's like they're not putting forth the effort to be romantic. They're not putting forth the effort to, to create more stability in the emotional arena with you. It's almost like they want to put the car in on automatic drive. They don't want to have to drive the car. They don't want to have to work at this is what I'm seeing is that they're strong in their expectations of you, but they're not so good at doing the work with you. The strength card. See, we've had the strength card now three times for this relationship. Six of coins. The two of you really have a lot that ties you together. It's almost like, I remember my grandmother used to say, you can't live with them and you can't live without them. And she used to have that saying, and I really think that it is what I'm seeing here. It's like you can't live with this person, you can't live without them, because there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of love. But look at five of cups, five of wands, five of cups. So now we have a card that says that they feel really sad, they feel really mad, They're, it's very ego, they, you've wounded their ego in a huge way, and that's how they see it. Let's see what we have for the Page of Swords. What is going on with the Page of Swords? The Ace of Pentacles. That's a new opportunity on the internet. Just as you're seeking new love, your person is looking for a new opportunity. Isn't that interesting, though, that it came up as a pentacle instead of heart space energy? Okay, so what else do we have here? Why do we have the magician card here in this reading? The emperor reversed. Wow. The emperor reversed is somebody who is so mad they can barely breathe. They tried to hide it. This person is, you know, they're seeing you as the empress reversed, but they're the emperor reversed. The empress reversed is sort of like more somebody who's taking things for granted. It's a much softer energy. It's an energy that just says, you know, I like my pleasures and I like my life and I like the good things in life and my emperor can provide them, which I think is the sticking point with that six of coins. I think that's a real sticking point. I think this person isn't very generous and I feel as though they don't really know how to be generous. And so they kind of always feel that's like, oh, I'm being taken advantage over here. But the Emperor card reversed is somebody who is who is a narcissist. Well, I don't want to I don't want to use the word, but you know what I was going to say. I just I don't like to label. But this is a person who really has things upside down. They see things from a perspective. They they think they rule the roost or that their ideas should prevail. They definitely want to be in control. It's their way or the highway on steroids. So, and they're very low key about it. When you first met this person, you would not know it. Other people would not know it from the way they behave. The Fool card reversed. Oh my word, I hate that card reversed. It means that they, th that's a card of like looking at you, who, and you're the King of Wands, you, you know, both parts here. You're very grounded, you're very stable, you know what you want, but. The Fool card reversed is they just think that what you want isn't possible, that you're crazy to expect it. 
Like, how could you possibly expect me to take care of you? How could you possibly expect me? I'm not going to go too deeply into that. I'm going to leave it there. But we have the Knight of Wands. That's the player energy. So we have the Six of Coins reverse. This person doesn't want to give to any relationship. And I feel as though they'll leave before they're required to do that. The Lover's Card reverse, Temperance Card. So the Lover's Card reversed is unrequited love. They do feel unrequited love for you. Um, they wanted this to work, but okay. So that energy is really profound. I feel as though we need to dive into this more deeply in the extended to see why this person, why the two of you, what happened, what went wrong to dig into this more deeply. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Uh, if you like this, please, uh, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. In the meantime, I'll see you in the extended if it resonated. If not, see you soon and have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.